So, full size 10 keyless, 75%, 65%, and 60%. Those are the most common keyboard sizes you can find currently. But, which size suits you the most? Alright, so let's start with the full size keyboard, as this is the most common layout you can find anywhere. With the uh, full size keyboard, it comes with a numpad, and that's the main feature of the full size keyboard. If you input a lot of numbers, the full size keyboard is one of the best out there. There isn't really that many replacements other than actually having a numpad separately somewhere else. Normally, that's to the right of your mouse, and you have a 10 keyless. And one of the uh, worst things about a full-size keyboard is you might actually have to offset yourself a little bit to the left as you type, which is not the most comfortable position, especially if you're keeping your uh, set up in a small space, uh, such as, you know, one of those pull-out keyboard trays. Those are really, really cramped. And for normally, you'd have more space to the right if you are just on a regular desk setup. But with the 10 keyless, it uses up the most space on the desk. If you're actually uh, looking to get more space for moving your mouse, especially in games, you can go with the 10 keyless. There are multiple 10 keyless out there on the market. And with the 10 keyless keyboards, they remove the number pad entirely, but keeps everything the same. This allows for much more space for your mouse and centers your keyboard a little bit more to the right, so you won't have to shift as much. And with the 10 keyless, it keeps the function rows. So if you do use the function rows a lot or use a couple of the uh, keys in the function row constantly, especially if you're doing something like editing or going through different uh, software, then this is the best size to have. However, if you're looking to save a little bit more space and you don't really use that home cluster, you know, home, delete, page up, page down, then you can go with the 75%. The 75% is actually just a more compact TKL. So essentially you take that home row and slam it a little bit more into the keyboard. So you about say about two, two and a half rows of space on the right hand side. So this is the best if you want the best combination for both gaming and working. And all the functionality you can actually have on a keyboard. But what if you're missing vertical space because of a monitor or you don't have a monitor stand or a monitor arm, you can go with something like the 65% keyboard. The 65% keyboard actually gets rid of the F row, which allows for more vertical space. And since you have more vertical space, you can fit in smaller places. However, just be aware, it is the exact same width for most models from the 65 to the 75 percent you're only really missing the f row and your escape key takes over the tilde key the tilde key is the real weird squiggly line thing that i have no idea how to use like who uses that key seriously to comment down below who uses the key and while you're down there hit the uh, like button as well but if you're not looking to use the arrow keys and you don't use any of the home row 60 percent allows for the most space when moving your mouse. So if you are a low DPS player or a low sensitivity player, for FPSs, this is great. However, if you're using this for work, it's either you're carrying this around constantly and you're moving from place to place, you know, kind of like service technicians or uh, engineers that keep going from area to area. This is a really good thing because especially with something like the Ducky 1-2 uh, Mini, it actually comes with a built-in mouse function. While very slow, if you do forget a mouse, you still have that mouse function, which is really awesome. However, it does lose the uh, arrow keys. And most people, they do use the arrow keys. However, they don't use it as often as they think they do. But you don't use it, uh, you don't lose it entirely because it uses the function row. And that function row allows you to, like on the Ducky 1-2 Mini, use it as uh, arrow keys or as a mouse. And it's a little awkward to use it as a mouse, but hey, it works. To summarize, the full-size keyboard takes up a lot of space and is great for an office environment, especially if you crunch a lot of numbers. The 10 keyless is great if you don't crunch a lot of numbers, but still need the entire functionality of the keyboard. 
you can go into the 75% if you don't use the entire home row cluster, the 65% if you don't use the F row, and the 60% if you want the maximum amount of mouse movement. But which keyboard do you guys use? Let me know in the comments below. Have you found any other uses for the other sizes? Of course there are others. But hit the like and subscribe for more.